Yo, what's up? The modern day toilet is one of those things that we all take granted for. A simple act of sitting down and painting the inside of your porcelain throne in peace and privacy is something that is more of a modern day luxury than most people realize. I mean, I for once skipped a many math and ELA classes in high school by faking going to the bathroom only to play Clash Royale and lose to fucking Mega Knight. Despite that sad fact from my life though, I'll always be thankful for toilets because honestly, they're great compared to what we had to offer in the past. I mean, take the Romans. Despite being the center of the world, World for 1,000 years, the Empire's bathrooms were downright fucking disgusting. So okay, say you're a Roman and you really need to take a shit, right? Alright, let's say you haven't like been keeping up with your vegetables recently, so there's no fiber in your diet and you're feeling quite constipated. So you're about to go into the bathroom, but then you realize Romans only have communal bathrooms. So you're in a sweaty, disgusting room with a handful of other gentlemen while you're sitting there fighting for your life and probably getting anal fissures trying to release this constipated dump, right? But whatever, this is all you have, right? So after 10 minutes of just pure pain and agony, you're finally able to get the poop through, and you reach for the toilet paper, but then you realize they don't have toilet paper. Instead, they have a sponge on a stick soaking in vinegar, and that sponge is communal. And it looks like Cassius from down the street had Taco Bell and Indian food, which has stained the sponge, but you know what? You got no other option, right? So you put the sponge in your ass, and you start wiping, but he had Indian food, like I said. So now your ass is on fire. And if that Indian food is not enough, a Apparently having communal toilet sponges are a hotbed for diseases. I know, shocker. So now you probably have intestinal worms going in your GI tract and giving you dysentery. This is a real thing by the way. Apparently intestinal worms were a real rampant issue in Rome because of these sponges. And I mean the Romans were like a very smart people too so it's like beyond me why they continue to do this to themselves. I guess the sponge feeling was too good for them. But uh, anyway we travel to the beautiful land of India where during the middle ages Indians used seated toilets with holes that led to pits where your shit would collect. Now you might be saying at it, what's wrong with these toilets? You know what I'm saying? These seem like normal toilets. There's nothing wrong with these toilets. It's a great toilet. My issue is the fact that today if you go to India, the toilets look like this, and this, and this. Somehow India has reverted and went from seated toilets to little holes in the ground, right? And I'm Indian myself and I went to India as a child and every time I had to go number two, I would literally get depressed because I knew first off, since they don't flush, it was going to smell like shit in there. But also, when I'm going to have to poop, I'm going to have to squat, right? So I'm going to have to try to balance and not tip over. I don't know, maybe I'm just whitewashed from growing up in America, but like, why don't they just bring the seated toilet back? Anyway, that's the ancient history of toilets. So hopefully you have a greater appreciation for toilets now. Unless you're Indian, in which case, um, yeah, your toilets suck ass compared to their predecessors. But anyway, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Also, I'm live on this channel, so uh, check that out.